I believed that my spouse would never change. Like the person I married would be the person I married until we died. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case. Like I kind of knew, I think in the back of my head, I knew like, well, of course we're going to have kids and of course we're going to get older. And of course, like life is going to change, but my spouse as a person won't change. And I'm, I'm learning now that that belief needs to be unlearned because what you don't account for, what I never accounted for is the fact that every challenge, every bit of education, every new book that we read, it touches both of us in different ways. So not only is she changing in her own way, but I am also changing in my own way. So even if she was the same, from my perspective, we would still be going in different directions because I would be changing. So now I'm, I'm learning that there's a change happening and I'm further unlearning that that change doesn't have to be a growing apart. That change can be a divergence before we reconnect. Or that change can be a bit of like a, like a paralleling, right? Yeah. There's so many different ways that you can approach personal growth alone and with someone you care about. And uh, no one ever gave me a proper system to predict what that would be like. And now I get to learn it and unlearn it firsthand. I love it. I think if, if I connect with people that I connected with six months ago and they're the same person, we're probably not in the same, we're not in the same direction that we're trying to be going in. So I think it's a definitely a, a good perspective to have. Of course, all of your links and everything will be in the show notes, but is there anywhere you'd like to direct people? Yeah, just uh, if you guys liked what we talked about today, visit me anytime at everydayspy.com or on social media at Everyday Spy. And then of course, online, you can find me on YouTube, uh, either through my podcast, the Everyday Spy podcast, or through my own channel at uh, Andrew Bustamante. But thanks so much for having me, James. So fresh, so new.